In my view, there was something at least as big yesterday, which is the story, uh, this alleged story of the killing of 66 people in Kajuru, in Kaduna. Um, and that story, if you noticed, was broken by the Kaduna state governor with his personal publicist, Muiwa Deke, standing by his shoulder. No police officer, no SSS officer, no security person in the vicinity. And he was throwing out words that were calculated to be very incendiary on the eve of very difficult elections about a location that is very difficult and has had historical problems with violence across communities. And he was dropping these bromides like he was on some substance, with all due respect. And I spent all of last night trying to verify from all the sources in Kajuru, and nobody can verify or substantiate that there has been a killing of 66 people in Kajuru over the past few days. And INEC has got to deal with this kind of reality. Okay? It is not just logistics. It is politicians with all manner of designs. And I think it is important as we deal with the story of this question of postponement to begin to call out politicians to order. You cannot, you cannot, on the eve of a very difficult election, as a state governor, stand by yourself with your publicist and be talking about the killing of 66 people of one ethnic group and be talking about it with a celebratory air. That is beyond irresponsible. And I think people across all political divides must call out the Kaduna state governor. And any other governor in this country who tries this kind of thing on the eve of this kind of event in our country must be called out. If, we get, so, if, I, if we I get you right, if I get you right, Professor Nikalu, what you're saying is that this, this, this story about the killing, uh, what the governor actually said uh, was the killing of 66 Fulanis. That was the phrase he used. That, what you're saying is that it may, uh, it, it, may, uh, it may just as well have been a hoax since you haven't been able to confirm it from any of the people that you know in the area. I say this with, I am saying this with every sense of responsibility. All I spend my life doing around this election is dealing with violence and atrocities. And when I heard this story yesterday, as I said, I spent the entire night calling up all the sources I know in Kajuru. And I spend a lot of time working on Southern Kaduna. So I have a lot of colleagues across all divides, community leaders, faith leaders. These are not politicians. Community leaders, faith leaders, people who live in the neighborhood, professionals who care about what happens in these communities, who don't live in Kaduna <coughs> or Kafanchan, who are living in Kajuru. And not one person can substantiate. What is it? There, has been, there were some killings in Kajuru last week, up until about Saturday or Sunday. The best numbers we can get, and every life matters, so I'm not saying this carelessly, about 10, 11 people were reportedly killed in Kajuru about Sunday. As a matter of fact, there are still victims from that killing at St. Gerard's Hospital in Kaduna. The governor indeed was at St. Gerard's Hospital on Tuesday. When did this killing that he talks about happen? No bodies, no police officer, no SSS, no, no sites, no cameras. And I challenge any medium in the country and beyond Nigeria, let us all go to Kajuru and let the governor join us and let him tell us where he got these bodies from. And let him show up with Muiwa Deke and with Samuel Arunwa, who is his spokesperson. And let us all go there because this is too serious. For anybody, for anybody to make. I say this as a Nigerian who believes in this country, who believes every life matters. This is too serious for any governor to say and get away with at this election. And that is why I want to come, I keep coming back to this Kajiru story, because we must never allow that story to get away. 66 Nigerians killed, that's 66 too many. If anybody claims 
that 66 people were killed in Kajiru this week, including the state governor of Kaduna State. Let us all go and verify. Okay, Mr. We, I'm not willing to allow that story to go away. It is not true. 